commonly referred to as toxic femininity by its adversaries, city girl culture is in truth a complex response to suppressed feminine energy on a massive scale. It acts as a mirror reflection of the toxic masculinity that unknowingly conceived its very existence. Like the magician in reverse, the birth of this feminine lifestyle is the alchemized desire for financial security, intimacy, and control over personal identity. <laughs> What's the difference between a hot girl and a city girl? Oof. I can't really tell you too many differences. I can tell you a lot of comparisons. Like, we just grew up on two different sides of the world. We're, yeah. like, both in the South. I feel like we both stand for, like, empowerment. We both ain't taking no shit from no niggas. Period. We both like to get money. Uh, we both put ourselves first. Mm -hmm. um, and I we just like to win. While it introduces feminine concepts of vibrating in a space to receive as opposed to produce in connections with masculine energy, there are subtle nuances that reveal areas where imbalance perpetuates more imbalance. We will be assessing the energy of the city girl and different ways to address imbalances that exist in this evolving mentality. I think, I think, I think you should say something like, I bet your little sister wanna look like me. I bet your little brother wanna fuck like me. I mean, that's what, like if I was a, a female, I would say it like that. You need more energy because it's not there. Huh? I, bet your little sister. I bet your little, I bet your little sister wanna look like me. There you go. As discussed in previous episodes, toxic masculinity cannot exist without a feminine victim. And a lot of girls play the game better than guys. We talk about this openly on our podcast. And we're teaching guys how to not necessarily get finesse and get what they want out of girls, which a lot of the times is intimacy, but they're not able to get it. But girls are easily able to obtain money, time, resource, attention, whatever it is. The toxic masculinity that props up city girl culture is no different than its predecessor. However, the nuance in the city girl acts as an affront to the current paradigm. Pause. I gotta pause for a second. Y'all bitches turned shit around. Y'all went and made shit happen. And y'all just, I'm proud of y'all. If city girl culture is a manifestation of toxic masculinity, imbalances within its design are inherent. A deeper look into its relationship with the masculine reveals a fixation on material means and a potential sense of greed. I ain't gonna, I wanna hold now, y'all. It's the first day, like, bitch, take me, take me shopping. Oh, we to the club. Give me some ones. And I could be on me forever. Oh. <laughs> Hedonistic and over-sexualized behavior, warped relationships with power through manipulation, and competition amongst other feminines. Yo, baby, they fucking me and fucking me. He don't answer you, bitch, that's because of me. At the same time, this means to an end is underscored by some feminine ideals like an unwavering confidence in verbal and self-expression, ownership over your life's vision, and mutual respect in partnerships. So be a city girl, you just gotta be on your shit because a lot of bitches think being a city girl is a slut, bum-ass bitch who's just out here fucking, who can't find no nigga to love them. No, you gotta find you a nigga that treat you right, spin a bread, mm. treat you like a queen, okay, shit. and you still getting your motherfucking bag too. Now right. that city girl shit, not getting drug at home by your broke-ass motherfucking me. Uh However, the propensity to combat trust issues with a lack of empathy and an overfocus on physical interactions over discernment shows a blockage in the heart chakra of this complex feminine. However, this blockage in the heart space inevitably becomes an inadequate defense against vulnerability and subsequently cutting the self off 
from the benefits of inner emotional healing in order to build true resilience and strength through something we're not allowed to be loud right we're not allowed to be sad we're not allowed to like lash out like we're supposed to take everything you throwing at us and handle it like michelle obama at all times bitch. Yeah. Like as city girl culture continues to mature and evolve it may become disillusioned with the artificial connection making through sexual gratification and material means they keep saying i should get help but i don't even know what i need they keep saying speak your truth and at the same time say they don't believe me and embark on balancing the needs of one's inner masculine regarding security and productivity with the wisdom of the feminine and I'm so proud of you. I feel like you're doing so good. You are. We doing so good.